Hello everyone, Beart here. Today's video is all about food appreciation. In a world where we live in overconsumption with so much fat and sugar pushed into food and the constant question of what real health is, I am meeting you here at my dinner table, breakfast table, and perhaps even lunch table to talk about the concept of food appreciation. Food appreciation in my eyes is something that you can practice daily before every single meal to help you really um, take notice of what you are eating and what you are putting inside of your body that your body is then fueling, right? Because your body needs to run on energy. We have to remember that food is not just something that we put into our body to you know, lessen the hunger or take hunger away. It is actually the building blocks of our health and of our body rejuvenating itself every single day by old cells dying and new cells that are forming. The food that we give our bodies are the building blocks of those new cells that are forming when the old cells die. In a simpler time, many years ago, we didn't really have the concept of fast food or quick and easy meals, microwavable things that you can buy. So people really made lots of effort when eating because they had to cook their own food. And it was quite easy to then see what is healthy and what is unhealthy. But these days, a lot of the things that we eat at restaurants or takeouts, or even like prepped meals type things that we can buy at our grocery stores, we don't really know what's inside of it. And if you don't come from a household or an idea of how to cook, um, or a household that actually cooked a lot, you might not really understand what are all the ingredients inside of each and every meal. And of course, restaurants and um, food chains want to push you to buy more of their food. So what do they do? They add in loads of sugar and loads of fat because our palate loves it. And that basically forces our, our bodies to get addicted to that type of food, right? Coming from a house where we did a lot of the cooking ourselves, um, I really noticed from a young age what goes into every single meal. I've seen with friends coming over, even at a young age, to help bake a cake or you know, make flapjacks or something, they were always so surprised with the amount of sugar that would go into a cake, right? If we would have a birthday, for instance. And I think once you start cooking your own meals and you realize what goes into it, it all makes sense why some foods are considered unhealthy and why other foods are considered healthy. We need to remember that we train our palate to appreciate certain tastes flavors the amount of salt and sugar we are used to. That is why it is so important to eat healthy from an extremely young age because you are training your palate for the rest of your life. But it is not too late if you're now sitting here watching this video as an, as an adult and you feel like, oh my goodness, I have to retrain my palate. That is absolutely possible. So do not fear and just stick to this video. I truly believe that you can make a change. And change usually for me starts at planning it. If you don't plan a change, then it's not gonna be easy to follow through because an idea in the back of your mind might not always work out as you, know, you wished. So if you wanna have an idea of how to start planning your meals and so forth, I have a video where I did a weekly shopping trip with everyone. I showed exactly what I cooked and how I plan my meals. Maybe you can watch that for some inspiration. I think a big part of food appreciation will come from home cooking and preparing your own meals to see what you are putting inside and also getting to know the flavors and the colors and the textures for what they really are. And when it comes to eating, really taking a moment of looking at your food. If you think about how the food got to your plate, think about the soil, think about the amount of rain that it needed, think about the sunshine, think about its entire life that it grew, right? By doing that, you are eating more consciously and you will understand and really feel a gratefulness for the food right in front of you. And then all the way it was transported to your grocery store and where you bought it. 
and how it ended up on your plate. Again, how you mix it with maybe different spices and so forth in order to create the meal right in front of you. Taking a moment to really think about what you are eating and what went into it, I think is something beautiful because you are showing um, a grateful attitude towards your food, but also taking note of what you are eating. To be conscious while you are eating is so extremely important. Don't sit behind your computer or maybe behind a TV and eat. Even if you just take a few moments, if you are going to do that, to just to look at your food and appreciate it and then maybe continue doing whatever you are doing is fine, but I will still recommend doing it without too much distraction and rather just enjoy the meal for what it is and really let your body absorb all of the beauty that's in it and not just the tastes and getting your stomach full. With that being said, also include as many textures, as many colors, as many types of food on your plate with every single meal. Um, that is really gonna be extremely beneficial to your health. While you are looking at your food and appreciating it while you're eating, really chew the food. Don't just take big bites and swallow. Chew your food and really experience the tastes and flavors of the food. By living and eating more consciously, I truly believe that it's gonna be healthier for our bodies and it's gonna be an easier way for us to not overconsume, but also be healthier and happier within our own skin. I really hope that you enjoy your next meal and I hope to have you back here soon. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.